Stay tuned for more regional coverage from the local traveler. But first, here is Leslie Rogers. Philip, thank you for being here today. Well, thank you all for having us. Now, you're going to tell us about the, the event that's going on coming up. Uh, what's some of the history behind the Mountain Heritage Festival? Well, Mountain Heritage started uh, in 1982. The fiscal court uh, made a motion to form a committee and, and start uh, uh, a festival. And the first year, uh, it was a pig roast and uh, some live music and stuff like that. It was a one-day event. Mm -hmm. uh, then the second year we started to do some other things and uh, one, the first thing was to name the festival. Mm -hmm. And one of the local uh, people here submitted a name Mountain Heritage Festival, which was Toby Davis, and she uh, uh, there was a prize given for the for naming the festival, and that's how it started in 1993. Uh, 1983. Well, 30 years. 30 years ago, and, uh, and you've been there from the start, right? I have been here from the start. <laughs> Our first festival was down Railroad Street there, and it was a very small tent, and and. Uh, uh, was more of a two-day festival and, and now the festival has grown. So when they come out, what do they see? What goes on out here when you come to the festival? Well, the, the bypass... Uh, basket weaving and... Uh, the by, uh, bypass is completely blocked off and, and the beginning of the uh, coming up to bypass is a uh, uh, probably a 30 by 100 foot tent and all we have is is uh, um, crafts people in there that are demonstrating the things that they do um, uh, chair making uh, basket weaving uh, and some good food uh, and then you come on in and then then you get to my part which is the food booths and we usually have about 17 food booths up through here then uh, it's all kinds of different food uh, we've probably fried about everything that could be fried <laughs> on this bypass. Good eating. Right? <laughs> Good eating. Now, I know there's scholarships involved. Can you tell me about that? Yes, and that's one thing that we're very proud of. We have um, we have given over forty-five thousand dollars in scholarships uh, from the time that we started giving the scholarship to to local kids. Mm -hmm. uh, and one of the things that we were really proud of when uh, the uh, Southeast Community College was formed, we made a pledge of ten thousand dollars, and uh, we uh, fulfilled that pledge and. Uh, we feel that it's it's great to give it back to the community. So, what do the kids do to actually earn the scholarship? I mean, they uh, they have to write a, an essay of why that they uh, think that they should deserve oh, okay. and and everything. And it, it changes uh, year from year to year the topics that they have to write on. Well, Philip, I appreciate you taking the time and telling us about it. And Whitesburg is beautiful. I'm glad to be out here today. Thank, thank you. And we hope to see you back up here during the festival. All right. You guys come out to the festival. It's going to be a lot of fun, and he's going to do some cooking. Exactly. <laughs>